Well, hello everybody. Uh, this is Nyakin, and this is going to be my first YouTube video in a very long time. I thought I was going to um, uh, try streaming this game, but um, on second thought, it would be a better project, I think, to make this into a YouTube series. I'm going to be playing The Longing, and you know, I've seen the trailers like everybody else, and um, I haven't really seen anybody else play this game. Uh, I know that it's a very long game, and I know that um, it passes by in real time, uh, including when the game is closed, so I thought this would be perfect for me. I have a limited amount of time that I can uh, put into this uh, around my work schedule, so it's actually a little appealing to have a game that kind of unlocks and progresses uh, in some ways, even while you're not playing it. So. Thought this would be perfect for this. Um, we're going to see what comes of this series. I, you know, I, I don't really know what this is going to end up looking like, or how long it's going to be, or, and, and whatnot. So I, I hope you enjoy uh, what you see. And if you have any feedback, uh, do uh, feel free to uh, leave it in the comments. And without further ado, I'm going to open up the game now for the very first time. I don't even know if there's going to be a tutorial or or anything really. Um, uh, oh, okay, so there's there's a pre, kind of like a preloader kind of thing here. Let me see if I can just get this captured. I had it so that um, OBS would capture any full screen program that popped up, but this isn't really full screen right now. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Let me see if I can just center this. Oh, it seems that there we go. Yeah, maybe I can just center this or something. And then once it becomes full screen, I'm sure it'll fill up my screen anyway. OBS is a little funny when it's a um, a windowed, um, kind of like preloading screen. So let's see. Take a look before starting. Okay, was, okay. So 400 days. I know that it takes 400 days to get through the game, or there's like a countdown until the king wakes up. That's 400 days long or whatever. Uh, okay, we can... Whoa, hello. What am I doing? Okay, let's make this big. Uh, am I 1920? By 1080? I think I'm, I think I'm bigger than that now. Oh, I can just do full screen also. Yeah, I can just do full screen. Let's try this. Okay, that seems to not be cooperating. All right, great. So this is what my first video is going to be. <laughs> it's going to be me trying to. It's going to be me trying to fix OBS here. Jeez. All right, hold on. I think we got this here. Reset, transform. All right. All righty. Well, this is what happens when you when you're true to your word and you're opening a game for the first time. You know, lots of people say they're doing that, but you know. They do the professional thing and they check their settings and whatnot, but I, I don't do that. This is a this is a purely blind experience, so it's gonna come with some kinks. It's gonna come with some kinks. Uh, controls, okay. Walk is hold click. Idle walk is double click. Idle walk. That's double click. Okay, I guess we'll find out what that means. Um. Oh, okay. Also, space. You can hold space. Okay. Action. Either right click or control. Okay. Is there an auto walk? What's that? Controls. Auto walk. What? What? No. Go back to preferences. Controls. I don't know. I click on this and it doesn't seem to like. I mean, unless I click on that up here or something, that's what it's telling me. I don't know. Open menu. Okay, that. I guess that means click on this to open the menu. Okay, and then exit the game as the X. Okay. Okay. Language English. Don't need to worry about that. Uh, was that it? <clears throat> I guess that was it. All right, let's, let's go into the game. Here we go. Deep, deep beneath the earth, there lay the realms of an old king.
We're going deep. Studio Seos presents The Longing, a game by Ansel Peter. It's kind of cool. Simple intro. Not sure what I think of those graphics to begin with, but I mean, I've seen what the graphics look like in the game, so. Something about those. I don't know, something about the way that forest looked up top. I don't know. It's okay though, it doesn't really hurt anything. I mean, I like this. We're going deeper and deeper into the earth. That's cool. I think they could have, I don't know, drawn it better. Which is odd to say because, the, I mean, the artistry is kind of nice and unique. But just that upper part, I don't know. And the way they're doing this movement, I don't know, something about it. My powers have faded. All I have left is you, my faithful shade. Okay, timer isn't moving. Nothing's happening here. Maybe I have to click? Okay, I clicked. All I ask of you is to wait and never to leave these caves. Never to leave these caves. Interesting. Do we die at the end of this? I mean, that's immediately where my mind goes to. I shall now sleep for 400 days to gather my remaining strength. Wake me when the time has come to end all fear and longing. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Little eyeballs. So, this is my home. A nice place to spend the next 400 days waiting. I like how my name is O'Shade. <laughs> or our character's name, anyway. Okay, the timer's clicking. So, here we go. Ticking, not clicking. Let's see, his eyeballs are kind of following what I'm... Maybe not. No, his eyeballs aren't really following me. Okay. Right-click to close. Let's close it. Eh? Eh? Okay, I, I left-clicked that. That was wrong. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, okay. So when I hold down... And then that's idle walking. Oh, okay, so that's auto walk. Well, not really. It's... it's... okay. So, idle walking is, you just double click and he's going to walk to that spot that you've indicated. So you don't have to hold down the mouse the whole time. So if you just left click, he's just going to move until you let go of the mouse. Okay. Make music. I will need to find all four parts of this instrument before I can enjoy the pleasure of making music. I currently have one instrument part. Okay, that's that on the floor, I guess. Okay. Let's see what else we can do here. So, okay, this is like our room or something. Our bedroom? Our little home? Okay, so we can do some art, maybe, is what this is? Yeah, draw, okay. Choose a color and a motif. I don't have that color. Okay, so we need to find these other colors. We start with black. Myself, father. Is that supposed to be the king? Soul shows the crown. 
Okay, this is interesting. I like this kind of stuff. Louse. Hmm. I don't know what these are supposed to mean. Like, what does that two mean? I don't know. Maybe it means I can draw two things, and then I'll run out of material. I have the timer here. Look at hourglass. Time is progressing slow and steady. Slow and steady. Okay. We can sit down and read. I don't know if I want to do that yet. Maybe I can pull more black stuff out of here. See little pieces here. Maybe I'm just making that with coal or charcoal. The king warned me that I should never leave these caves. I wonder what exactly he meant by that. Yeah, that was immediately what I was thinking about too. Okay, I can make a fire. I bet I can pick these up here. Yep, sure can. A lump of coal. I will keep you safe, my little brother. Okay. <clears throat> Lump of coal. Fallen brother is returning home. Okay, fallen brother. That's interesting. Uh, are we connected? Do we see ourselves as being connected to coal or to the earth or something? Use matic? Is that in my inventory? I don't know. What are these things? Whoop! I clicked on that and it minimized the game. Okay, so this is minimize. Oh, that's to turn off sounds. To turn off the music, I guess. Oh, and this changes the brightness. Okay, well, this is all fine. If I had a medic, I could hack through the wall and enlarge my little home. Oh, I see. Okay, so I don't have a medic. That makes sense, because I don't. Right. I was like, where, where did that medic come from? Why do I have that all of a sudden? Uh, let's make a fire. My fireplace. This room could use a little warmth from time to time. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, it's going to cost me stuff. I'll need two pieces of flint first. Mm hmm. Okay, so even that's its own puzzle, maybe. Or crafting kind of thing. I just noticed there's like a little sphere here. And like this shape in the wall that almost looks like a chalice. Or a platform or a shelf. Maybe that is something that we create later. Kind of looks, it looks like something's gonna end up being there. Um, let's draw something. Let's draw myself. Oh man. Okay, they're not kidding. Time really just. Uh... Things take time in this game. Okay, so this 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 game is conditioning us a little bit to just. <sighs> Except that these things are going to take time. So, <clears throat> I think, you know, I'll put up these videos pretty, pretty much unedited. What I'll also do is put timestamps, I suppose, in the description to try to move between, like, moments so that you can see stuff happening um, in case... This stuff really does take a super long time. Like we could skip this maybe 60 seconds that it took to draw this. Or you could if you choose to. Or you can watch it all as it's really unfolding and, and experience that atmosphere of settling in and being patient and seeing this stuff happen. Uh, time goes by faster in the company of great art. This one deserves a special place on my wall. Time goes by faster in the company of great art. Is this ticking faster all of a sudden? I don't think so. I think it's in my head. Like, like it feels like this is going a little faster, but no. But that feels like a clue, right? Uh, where do I want to hang this? I think I want to hang it right here. And can I end up moving this? Okay, I can end up moving it. That's cool. Okay, I'm looking at that and yeah, I don't think it's faster. No, 
No, I guess it's not. I guess it's not faster. Do I want to draw another one? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe not. Let's let's uh, let's explore a little bit. Oh, here's the auto walk. Okay. Use the arrows in the column to remember places. Use the arrows on the right to walk automatically. Oh, I see. Okay, so you can like save rooms that you want to go to. Interesting. Yeah, so... Uh-huh. Okay, I think, I'll, I think I'll get the hang of this. Let's just, um, yeah, we'll save this space right here. So we can always go back to this room automatically. Can I go through here? Yeah, okay, I can. Oh, wow. I think the king will allow me to explore his vast realm, but I better remember the way back. Okay, yeah. I think I've done that. Awaken the king? Can we... No, we can't do that. The 400 days have just begun. The king is still sleeping. I have to stay in this cavernous realm and wake him once the time has come. So maybe I just save the rooms as I go through? Yeah, alright. There is no need to hurry, I have plenty of time to walk. Oh, what did I do? Maybe because I held down walk for so long, he just automatically said that? I really like these stairs. So, they're they're trying to get you to be patient, but they also don't want to bore you. I mean, the music's great. Um, I like the little dialogue breaking up his ascent. You know, they, they thought about this. It's like, you know, it's supposed to be long. It's not supposed to be boring. No game is supposed to be boring. So just little things like that. You know, intentionally trying to break up the ascent a little bit. Okay, I see coal here. I see what I think is another cave here. Why did I go here? Because it looks like a cave to me. Is that not a cave? Okay. This looks like a cave to me. Oh, let's save every, every room we go to. So here we go. Ah, uh, see, when you have auto walk on, you might miss out on the cursor changing. That's the only thing. Let's get some coal. I see something lying on the ground. Pretty sure it's coal, buddy. A lump of coal. I will keep you safe, my little brother. He keeps calling the coal little brother. Oh, wait. Something else right here. Oh, I lost it. Okay, the controls are clunkier than I expected. Here we go, came back out. Oh, just another lump of coal. Okay, it came out of the ground. Yeah, the stair controls are a little bit annoying. 
actually. This isn't very clean. Okay, there we go. Oh, look, some more coal popped up. So, um... Yeah, I'm not sure what to make of this resource. I guess you use coal a lot. See this? It's like... It's pretty annoying. You gotta get to the landing and then it lets you go up. It doesn't, like, think about... Like, you, could, you can't be here and say, I want to go up here. I don't know what I think of that. I think they could have made that a little bit... friendlier. Okay, this stuff just dropped, doesn't it? Well, that one disappeared, but... I guess coal will just show up all over the place. Alright, let's enter the door. This door hasn't opened in a long time. It might take a while. Okay. Ah, oh, okay, I see it crack open. Okay, it is going to take a while. <laughs> but that's okay, because um, there's nothing else to do. We only have to wait for this to happen. I guess it might let us in now without it finishing, but... I could squeeze through already, but not to wait until the door is open in full glory would be blasphemy. I like that. I like that. <laughs> I was thinking something similar, like, you know, it, it's, it feels like it would be more appropriate to wait until it's finished opening. That's really funny. Let's go in. So yeah, the game is really, um, you know, conditioning you right now. It seems like a great place to be lonely. I better remember the way. This seems like a great place to be lonely. Is that a translation thing? Hmm. Did he mean like a great place to get lost or I don't know. It's a weird pairing of sentences. We have this pink stone. I remember, I remember seeing in a trailer or something like one of these things breaks. My nose is not quite as sh not quite sharp enough to carve out this crystal. Maybe I can find a handy matic somewhere. Okay, so we're back to that again. Oh, you know what? I forgot to. Maybe I didn't forget it. I didn't forget to save the room. Okay, so we'll just do left to right to make sure we always um, we never miss anything. So we'll just go to the leftmost room. Ooh, coal. Fallen brother is returning home. Wonder how much coal I am gonna need in this game. Taking a stroll in these magnificent Magnificent halls sure is a fulfilling occupation. Okay. I don't know, do I wanna? I don't know if I wanna try so hard with the coal. I don't think I need to. The coal is in abundance, it'll just it'll just come to me as it comes. That would be the patient approach, I think. There's no need to chase after all the coal. So I won't. Oh, I did forget to save this room. That's... Uh, it's okay, I'll just save it here. And again, we'll go with the leftmost door. Okay, we'll save this room. Let's see. 
I think I'll also... I should talk to myself more often. Okay, good. I'm kind of talking to myself. We can talk to each other or ourselves together. Um, I'll also do top to bottom, so top left to bottom right will be the approach. Okay, so this makes me want to go up. As far up as I can. Perhaps. Or perhaps just this door. Well, let's see. Maybe the stairway doesn't go anywhere. Can't really tell. It'd be strange to have a stairway that goes nowhere though, right? Okay, I think this is going somewhere. So let's just keep going. Ooh, something red here. Could this be the red item I need for um, red drawings? Looks like it could be. A piece of clay. Now I have some red color for my paintings. Yes. All right. Okay, it's clear that I'm going to run out of space on this room saver fairly soon, so I think the next step would be to um, kind of spread out those saved rooms. Loneliness is real. Yes, it is. So we've been playing the game for about 20 minutes now, according to the timer. Well, a little bit over 20, because we were playing it before it started. You know, I have to say, it doesn't feel like 20 minutes. I'm I'm engaged. I'm not bored. It's not, um... It's not painful. You just have to kind of adjust your expectations. I'm starting to doubt that I'm going to have... Oh, Inspect Moss? Wait a second. That was something. I'm starting to doubt that I'm going to have, or rather, that this was the right call for me needing a game that uh, uh, wouldn't require a large time investment uh, around my schedule. I mean, although time does tick by when you close the game, it seems like there's a lot to do in this game. There's moss growing here, but it's not ready to be harvested yet. I suppose time will tell. Whether this is, you know, because I was thinking of it like a game I can visit once or twice a week. And that would be the kind of time commitment I could get away with. But this might need more than that, I'm not sure. Time will tell. Okay, so safe to assume the moss that I run into here, none of it's ready for harvesting. I don't want to go into that door yet. Just gonna keep going all the way to the left. I'm also starting to regret that <laughs> that system of not getting lost because um so far, it seems like I'm going towards the farthest away things. Oh, cool. Couldn't even see that coal. And then, you know, the farthest away rooms and things. I mean, maybe that's a good strategy, but maybe the game wants you to just look at the closest stuff first. <laughs> it's probably designed that way, right? The water is not deep enough to drown myself in. Well, that's good. <laughs> Don't want you to drown. Oh, I wonder if the water gets deeper later. Like there's something we can do or like, I don't know, we do something and water starts pouring in. This is a very, you know, odd thing to say. 
It's like one of those dialogue things that, um... Okay, there's nothing here. That's very strange. It's one of those dialogue things that, um... Is supposed to be information, also. We'll see. I enjoy games that make you think a little bit. So I'm enjoying this game from that perspective so far. I like exploring and, and I like the, the process of, of, you know, getting information as you go and, and just wondering about possibilities until you, you learn what certain conditions really are, what's really going on in the game. I, I like even the process of not knowing and, and just discovering incrementally. Okay, so following my system, I'm going to go up and to the left. Anything here? Nope. I'm just gonna check the moss, I guess, when I'm in different rooms. Just in case. Okay, I'm starting to see some color changes here. Feels like it's supposed to be getting darker here. Okay, this is like the end of the cave. Is there anything else here? Oh, you know what? With the mattock, or the pickaxe, I wonder if the idea is we can expand these caves. Like, can we dig through the wall? I, I, I almost remember... I almost want to say I remember seeing him, like, digging into a wall in a trailer. So maybe that's why we're seeing all these dead-end caves. The idea is we have to, like, continue the tunnels and keep digging. That could be it. And then, like, we eventually hit rooms. Imagine if... Okay, so remember when we went through... Okay, the first doorway, right? And we took the, the left door. And it went to a stairway where there was, like, a door right to the left. Or we could go up a long way. And we went up a long way. Like, imagine if the Matic was in one of the early rooms and we're just, like, taking the longest way to get it. Can I safely go down here and get back out? I, I feel like I can get back out this way. But obviously you need something to climb this. This little droplet is doing a lot of hard work. Oh. Okay, see, again, that's a dialogue thing that's giving you information. So this is an example, I think. Wait, can I just climb? Oh no, I can't. What a failure. I think I can make it if I wait for the friendly droplet to fill up the pit. This might take a month. Oh, see? Okay, it kind of spoon feeds it to you here. Which I don't like. They, they didn't need this. Because... You know, I had an ah moment right before I, I tried to climb. And that ah moment was, I wonder if over, you know, a long period of time, this water will fill up. And yeah, of course it will. The game didn't need to tell me that it will, though. I don't know. The game needs to... I, no, it doesn't need to do anything. But I, I wish that it would... I wish that they would have... respected the intelligence of their audience there or at least had higher you know it shows you that the developers um, don't have a particularly high esteem for uh, the intelligence of ev everyone who they would see playing this and maybe there's some I mean, maybe it's correct to look at it that way, but I think, you know, someone getting into a game like this... 
you don't need to spoon feed them information. I mean, you have 400 days to figure it out. <laughs> you know, like you're already um, putting them in a certain mindset of like, okay, you're gonna need to like figure stuff out. I don't know, you didn't, you didn't need to say that. You didn't need to say like, oh, I wonder if insert information you want them to know about the game here. And were they worried that players would, you know, be frustrated and give up and, and not even bother exploring? I don't know. I, that's something I don't like, I have to admit. Should not have spoon fed that information like that. You know, anyone with um, any, oh wait, that's going back down. I want to go this way. I think I came from this way. You know, any anybody who's who's um, invested in the premise will be able to put that together. I think. I think. I think they would. A lot of pink here. Oh, there's something out there that you can pick up. I can't quite tell what it is. It almost has like a bone or, or maybe just a piece of stone. Okay, is this... I don't know. I'll just save all this stuff like a path, you know? And then we'll just figure it out later. I don't think I'm looping or anything yet. I don't think that I'm looping. I've never understood life. Oh, poor little guy. Okay, so it's... We'll... Do we go in here? Yeah, let's go in here. Ooh, okay. Yikes. This place really is a maze. You know, I wonder if we need to map... Yeah, I, I'm saying I wonder, but what I really mean is I think I want to map out this game. I think I want to map it out. I... Oh, there we go. Board? A piece of wood. Might be useful for building a bed. Oh, cool. Okay. So obviously we can use that to build our bed in our bedroom. So, so yeah, there's so, there's so many rooms to explore. And you know, this isn't sufficient for <laughs> mapping out a... Uh... Oh, what's, th what's this over here? Oh, that's just the border. I think we need to map this out. Because look, I mean, that's it right there. And now what do I do, you know? Ah, okay, so I was up here, I've come under here now. There's that thing over there. And that, I might be able to get there by going through that other door that I didn't go through. Okay, let's keep going. The cave here is warm and beautiful. It's warm, huh? Okay, maybe that's the pink. It's supposed to convey warmth. There's also, you know, there is also shades of blue for, you know, darkness and maybe cold and damp. Okay, maybe this is a loop. So maybe I was here. Oh, I should be able to see this way, right? Maybe I went up left. When I started this whole thing. I think I was thinking of this here, but I think that's different than where I'm standing right now. Oh, this is the same. See, look. I was here, and we started this loop by going up left. And we ended up going up there to the middle, yes. Because then we came back down here, 
We started that by going to the right, and it was a long kind of descent. Okay, so we've actually completed that outer circuit. Interesting. So yeah, I think that that middle door does go up that staircase in the background. And then we can pick this up, whatever this is. It could be anything. It could be like a piece of paper rolled up. It's really hard for me to tell. It's so small. So this door, I bet this goes to the stairway in the background. I bet it does. Nope, totally wrong. <laughs> totally wrong. Oh, but wait, I feel like I've been here before. Have I been here? I've totally been here before. And I think I went here. Let me see, let me see if that's true. So are these rooms interlinked? Yeah, because then I went in here. Instead of going up. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so I came down from there. Okay, I, I have this picture in my mind. So, we went up. I can also demonstrate it here. We went up here, right? We went out to the right. And that's when we started to come down. We went to the right some more. We ended up on the top level of this. We went across to the right, and we ended up right there on the top. And then we went down one level to the right, we went through this door, and then we went through this door. Somehow that brought us full circle. And even going down to the left could have done too, like to that bottom left, because that's where we came from, obviously. Going through this first door, though, put us here, we went to the left, we ended up there. Okay. Came out the door on the right. Interesting. So we can still go through this doorway and go down to the right. Maybe that ends up ends up putting us on the lower door in this one. So we'll go to the right instead of the left. Yeah, let's see. Uh hello? Yeah, the controls are a little bit mm, imperfect. Okay, we'll go here now. We'll see if maybe there's like some kind of long... Sometimes I want to stop walking and just sit down to think. Uh, don't think I can do that. No, let's just, um, let's just walk for now. Maybe when I go down here, okay, see the pink column now? Okay, we'll stick to the leftmost door though. That, that might come out where I thought it would, or even this. Okay, we've got, got some stuff to look at here. We've got something on the ground here too. Okay, we're gonna pick this up. What is this? This sheet of paper will be useful for my art studies. I wonder where it came from. Now I have two times paper. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. So that number that I saw was the sheets of paper we have, or another way of looking at that is the number of times we could um, draw. Okay. You pick up this. I hope the king doesn't mind if I borrow one of his books. I now have five books at home. Okay. So you can collect books to read. Okay. I don't suppose there's anything to do here, but I'll, I'll check anyway, just in case. Maybe I can pick up that rock now. It doesn't seem like there's anything I can do. Oh, maybe there is. Maybe I can go here. No. So we'll go here and see where this comes out. This, this is like a one-way, so let's see what happens here. 
If we come through on a loop, then we can just go backwards or decide what we want to do next. Oh, interesting, right. Coming back down. Okay, I think this is more paper here. And then we'll um, go through the door. Yep, another sheet of paper, okay. There's nothing over here, so we'll just go through- oh, hello. We'll just go through the door. Again, this is all one way, so let's see what happens. Okay, we came out the other side. So that up and down is like the back side of this. It's like its own wraparound chamber. That, I bet, is the bottom of the stairs. I bet I could explore that real quick and just knock that out. And it's to the left of this door anyway, so I should be doing that according to my little exploration system. Though I think we should map this game, so maybe on the next one I'm going to work on my map here. Wow! Okay, so we came full circle. Wow, we came full circle. So we started, look, here. So early on, below us is the doorway back to basically the king's chamber. On the bottom of that long staircase. And we went to this door on the left. And now we've come out the door in the center. So we've covered a lot of ground. I still don't know what comes out on that doorway, so... Um, okay, so now that we've done this loop... I'd like to go right back. Oh, yeah, and we still need to finish this. So we'll go to the right. Then I think the other piece is miss that's missing is... You know, how that bottom doorway links up... To what must be a loop in here somewhere. But yeah, definitely a maze, this game. Okay, another kind of up and down thing. Oh, have I been here before too? Might not have saved the room, but I might have been here before. Yeah, okay, there it is. And I must have gone to the left. This must be a different room. So I went to the left, then I ended up there. This must be a different room. Um, yeah, I think that's a different room. It's just, it just looks the same, but it's different. Okay. In that case, we'll go through this middle door. Although... Wait a second. Okay, I wanted to see if I came out this any other time before, but no. Because I thought to myself, well, maybe I went to the right and I ended up here. No, I don't think so. I mean, heck, one way to check is just to... Pop through and see if this looks familiar. Hmm. I don't think so. No, there's something else going on here. Okay. We'll go up and to the left. From time to time, solitude can be a good thing. That's the spirit.
from time to time, Saul 2 can be a good thing. See, if they could leave it like that, and that could be its own hint that you can close the game and time will progress. Like from time to time, you can leave this guy alone, that's and that's fine, you know. From time to time. From time that you play to time that you play. Oh wow, look, there's a map here. Or carvings. Yeah, we're in some whole new territory over here. These carvings seem to show a rather crude map of the kingdom. It would take some time to decipher it. Uh, can I decipher it? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I need items? Um, it would take some time to decipher it. Well... Oh, the map is zooming out. Or, or this view is zooming out. Do you see this? This view is zooming out slowly. Okay, just I'm going to just leave it. Ah. I'm starting to understand these carvings. Okay. I didn't even realize it, but you're supposed to leave it on this text. See, this is what's really fun to me. These aha moments. See, now it's going to plot out the whole thing. And show you how the rooms are connected. That's so cool. Now, does that mean that this connects here? Not sure. Probably not. Just goes across, right? Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, see? See, behind this, it's got this, like, thingy over here. This room. Maybe it's going to show up underneath it. Oh, look. You can see the stairs. Oh, there's a big thing under here. So you see, I went through here, I went through here, then I went through here, because I, I'm going on the up and left. And this is the room that looks like this. So see, it's, it's, there's a symmetry here. I'm going to run to this, run to this, run to this. Wow, look at this. Wow, this is cool. It's going to just keep zooming out. Oh, this is a great room to find. This is a great room to find. I think I'll just, I think I think I'll take a screenshot of this really, and then I can um, it'll help me make the map for sure. It also shows you how vast this area is, right? Okay, we started down here, went up the stair, went went to the left, we went here, we went up into the left, then we went up. So we started this whole circuit. And if we had gone down instead, we would have gone to this whole circuit. Completely different area. I think I finally understood the carvings. It seems like there's a long and dark way to the top. Okay, yeah. It's still zooming out. Um... Do I want to take this screenshot now? Oh, you know what? I don't need to take a screenshot because I am recording this on video. Yeah. So I can just let it go. Like if it if it uh, closes the map if I wait too long or if it does something else if I wait too long. Which I think this game will never make you. This game will never punish you for waiting too long. I, I, I doubt that. But you know what I mean. I'll have the video, so I can just take any frame that's that's the best frame to take for this, and there we go. Yeah, I'll just rely on the video. I'm I'm recording, right? I hit the record button. <laughs> okay, I hit the record button. Gee, that wouldn't be good, would it? If I had been doing this this whole time, and not even recording a video, imagine. Imagine. <laughs> hmm. I should have looked at this a little bit more. That's kind of cool and glowy. And also massive. That's a huge cavern. I mean, look at... Remember how massive this was when we were standing inside it. I mean, you, can't, you can barely even see us. We're a speck here. So imagine how massive this is. We'd be a speck in this room. That's a huge room. 
That is a ginormous room. This, even this is a very large room. Yeah, because this is a large room. This, this is large. I guess this is large. This is massive. Just like this. This just doesn't have the, the vertical height of the king's chamber, but still. There's something big going on in there. Some some good's gonna happen over there. Oh yeah, okay, now we can really see this this way to the top. The king said don't ever leave the caves. Does this game allow you to leave the caves though? Would you game over yourself? Imagine. <laughs> Imagine you go through 400 days, right? And then you're thinking to yourself, hmm. Well, it's almost like it's, it's like one day left or something, right? Like, oh, it's a, almost zero. If it gets to zero, I might not be able to go back and like explore all the way up to the, you know, to the top. Maybe it hits zero and then, you know, the game automatically ends or something. Gee, I should just explore this piece and then it kills you. You gotta restart. Gee, imagine that. Imagine not listening to your king. Jeez. This thing is still zooming out. <laughs> I mean, it is still going. Yeah, it's still going. I'm looking at these pixels. They, they are, they keep moving. So like, I don't wanna, I'm, I'm gonna wait until I can see the whole thing. I'm gonna wait. It's worth it. But maybe it's not worth it. <laughs> but I gotta see, right? It's sunk costs. You, you've spent so much time looking at this map, which, by the way, is such a cool. This is cool. See, like they they didn't. I mean, it would take me some time to investigate. They didn't spoon feed you the fact that, you know, you needed to like stay in the menu. Why did they think they needed to spoon feed the information for the water? I mean, they kind of spoon fed it because you go to the map and it's like, it would take me some time to investigate this or something. Understand the carvings, but that's not as bad. The water though it's like gee I wonder if I just come back a lot later and the water will fill up this hole like yeah we know that's what it's good too <laughs> you don't need to say it like that kind of takes away the you know okay this is almost pulled out the whole way I think I hope unless it's just gonna keep going up diagonal to the right or something we can't tell <laughs> you know it says right click to close but right click does not close it and now I'm afraid to close it I'm so invested in this amount of time and it's still actually I don't think it's pulling out anymore I don't think it's zooming out anymore so Okay, right click does not close it in the way that I'd like it to. Let's see what's behind this um, text box. Let's just do that. Oh, okay, it shows you. I was afraid that if I closed it, it would just snap me back into the room, you know? Um, okay, now my eyes are playing tricks. Feels like it's zooming back in. But I don't know if that's true. I think my eyes are playing tricks. Oh man, but I cannot. <laughs> Maybe it is zooming back in because, geez, how am I gonna play the game now, right? <laughs> 
I think it is slowly zooming back in. It has to. It has to. Life is slow. That's okay, though. Okay, so we're zooming back in. I'm pretty sure we're zooming back in. I'm pretty sure we have to be zooming back in. I don't know if we're actually zooming back in. What do I do? I think I finally understood the carvings. Yep. 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 You, you understand them, buddy. Uh. Uh. Maybe if I just walk out of the room. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's like flying now. Okay. Okay, so I just walked away from the map and now it's... Now it's zooming in. Okay, cool. So based on this... I go to the left. Go to the right. I'm gonna go to the right. Maybe investigate there. Okay, there's a lot of planning I could be doing. So, okay, in the next episode I'm gonna uh, work on mapping this out. I'm going to mark off the places I've explored already, things I've found, um, just so I have like a kind of an inventory of where I've been, what I've found and whatnot. Maybe some time will pass and maybe some rooms will be different than they appeared to be at first. I don't know. I don't know how quickly things change in this game. Probably not very quickly. I mean, you could probably go a while and not, uh, you know. What if I just go back to my room? Let's go back and see if everything is alright. Does he walk the whole way? Or does it like... Yeah, time to walk back home. Okay, so he just walks the whole way. Okay, it's not like you teleport, so... It's really just a pathing thing. Okay. Well, that's, that's nice. I mean, it's convenient. You could, like, make yourself a sandwich while I wait for him to walk somewhere. Okay, I, I like this game. I like this game. I'm going to keep playing this game. Uh, next episode, I'm going to map out what I've learned. Kind of plan out where I want to go next. And we're going to go do that. So, guys, thanks for watching the first episode. Again, leave your feedback. Uh, always... Uh, always uh, looking for feedback uh, things that you like things that could be better on the next one and I'll see you next time thanks again bye